everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be sharing a holiday makeup tutorial with y'all. And this look features a festive gold eye and a classic red lip. So let's start off prepping the skin. I'm gonna start off with a lip balm and a facial primer. This is the Smith's Rosebud Salve Lip Balm and the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. This filter primer is going to provide a very dewy, luminous glow to the skin, which is gonna give us a very healthy finish. And I'm just going to rub this into my skin using my fingers and give it a final pat. For complexion, I'm gonna be using the MAC Pro Longwear Foundation in the shade NC15, and I'm using an Amazon foundation brush. I'm buffing this into the skin using patting motions. These pressing motions are gonna help intensify the coverage and give me a more flawless finish. And then when I go in using swirling and buffing motions, it's gonna blend the foundation out. I'm going for a full coverage today, so you'll see me using lots of buffing motions to really intensify the pigmentation. Also notice that my skin is self-tanned. My chest and body are a little bit darker than my face, so I am using a darker foundation to kind of even out my coloring. Now I'm gonna go in with a concealer. This is the Revlon Color Stay Concealer in the shade Fair. This is a lighter skin tone than the rest of my face, so I'm gonna be using this as a highlighter as well. Taking a generous amount, I'm gonna apply the concealer underneath my eyes in triangle shapes, and I'm gonna drag it onto my cheekbones, and then I'm also gonna add this concealer to the center of my skin. So I'm gonna apply it to my forehead, I'm gonna put it down my nose, and then I'm gonna add a little bit to my cupid's bow and my chin. Using a lighter shade of concealer to highlight the skin is not only gonna provide a longer wearing contour, but it's also gonna be a little more intense. Now I'm going to buff in the concealer with a beauty blender. Make sure you use your beauty blender damp. I love buffing in concealer with beauty blenders because it gives the most natural blended finish, but it still maintains coverage. Now I'm gonna go in and set my concealer. I'm using the Baby Face Pore Powder from Mimi Box, and this I'm gonna buff in with the Beauty Blender, and it's gonna prevent my concealer from creasing. Now I'm gonna add some coloring to my skin using the Smashbox Shape Matters Palette. I'm gonna take the contour shade with my Sephora Pro Brush number 55 and start chiseling and contouring the skin. I'm gonna start with the cheekbones, and then I'm going to bring it onto my nose as well. Next, I'm gonna go in with the bronzer shade and I'm gonna use that to blend the two colors together. At first, it looks a little muddy, but as I blend and buff it onto the skin, it's going to blend really evenly and give me a nice glowy contoured look. Now I'm taking the highlight shade from the palette and applying this to my cheekbones and my under eyes. And I'm using the Sephora brush number 79. And then I'm gonna take it to the center of my skin as well. And that's just gonna add some light and some definition and it's gonna give me that more highlighted look. I'm using the Benefit Rockateur blush with the Sedona Lace Brush number 850 to add some color to my cheeks. This has a light shimmer, but it's mostly just gonna add some color to the skin. Now I'm highlighting with the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Moonstone, and I'm going in generously onto my cheekbones and on the center of my skin. This is going to be done with the Morphe M510 brush, and it's gonna add a nice glowy look. And then I just couldn't resist using a gold highlighter, so I'm taking Max O oh Darling and just adding a touch more. Now for brows, I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow in the shade Taupe, and I'm using the Sedona Lace Brush number 561. I'm gonna carve out my brows, starting at the arch and tail, and then I'm gonna fill in my brows pretty heavy because I am doing a pretty intense look today. Now to set my brows, I'm taking the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel and just running it over my little brow hairs. My eyelids are already primed and I'm taking the Makeup Geek Peach Smoothie Eyeshadow and applying that to my upper crease as a transition shade and I'm using the Morphe M433 brush to do so. Then I'm taking Anastasia Beverly Hills Eyeshadow in the shade Fawn and I'm going to start applying that to my outer crease. I'm gonna buff this inward and I'm gonna really make sure I focus that color on the outer crease section to add more drama. 
Then I'm going to be going in with a Morphe M508 brush and running that fawn shade underneath my eyes, just right along that lash line to create kind of a liner, a little bit more definition to help tie the look together. And then I'm going to go in with Shimmer. This is the Naked Cosmetics Pigment in Naturally Nude Number 1. I'm going to spray my brush with MAC Fix Plus. And this brush is the Sedona Lace number 954, and I'm going to pat this onto my lid. I'm carrying this gold shimmer all the way over the lid up to the crease, but I'm not taking it above the crease. This synthetic flat shader brush is perfect for adding shimmer and definition with a pigment. Now I'm going in with my Morphe M433 brush and I'm going to just define the crease and make sure everything's nice and smooth. And I'm going to take a little bit of Makeup Geeks Americano and add that to my outer corner just for some extra drama. This is a matte shade so it's going to help to add more definition. And I'm going to take a little tiny bit more underneath the lower lash line. Now I'm taking a soft blending brush. This is the Lab 2 Just Blending In brush to kind of even out any soft edges. It's going to make sure everything looks nice and smooth and you can't see any demarcation. To highlight, I'm going to take Makeup Geek Vanilla Bean on my brow bone and Makeup Geek Shimma Shimma in the inner corner. And I'm doing this with a Sedona Lace number EB09 brush. For eyeliner, I'm taking the Wet n Wild Coal Crayon in Calling Your Buff and running that in my lower waterline. And then I'm going to go in with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the shade Trooper and I'm going to create a soft thin line on the upper lash line. For lashes, I'm taking the Pure Cosmetics Big Look Mascara and adding a coat of mascara. And then I'm going to go in and add some Ardell Falsies. I'm wearing the Ardell Demi Wispies. Now for my classic red lip, I'm using the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Outlaw. And there's the final look. If you guys want more details or information on products used in this video, definitely check out my website linked below. Please subscribe for more videos and thank you so much for watching. Happy holidays, y'all!